Uh, yeah, so my name is Clayton Shaw, and the company is called Spatial Audio, and we have uh, been a, in loudspeaker development since around 1978, so we, we have a, a long history of uh, research and development and product type development. Uh, and over the years, we have developed a number of unique kind of um, approaches and techniques, technologies uh, in loudspeaker design. And one of them is that we use uh, driver uh, speaker components that are from the professional industry, like you would see in movie theaters or in outdoor concerts and things like that. Fortunately, much of the components in that industry are American-made. So we're able to leverage that and, and use American-made uh, components. Uh, we try to do that all the way through the product, like the cabinet. Uh, most speakers now are made in the cabinets are made in China, uh, up to you know three to five thousand dollars and below. Uh, most all speakers are Chinese now, which is fine. But you know we we want like our cabinets, even including the material, the paint, the metal. Um, the primer, all the materials that go into it are all U.S. companies. Um, same thing with the electrical circuitry inside. Loudspeakers have an electrical uh, system that basically <coughs> interleaves the different driver components together. We try to um, use all American-made electronics where possible. A few devices are made in Germany because they're the only ones that we like. But virtually everything is made in the U.S. Um, so um, it costs more in a way to do that, but in a way it's, it's worth it because it's not, it's incrementally more expensive, but it's much better quality usually. So that's why we do it and we just want to make an American product. Yeah. So. And uh, these are quite different looking than most uh, box speakers. You want to talk to us about the overall design of the speaker? Uh, yeah, the, the biggest problem with speaker design uh, going back forever is that, they, that they're they have boxes, they're enclosed box systems. And that was originally, um, uh, you know, came into use because generally speaking, if you take a, a speaker out of a box, you don't have any bass. And so the enclosure separates the front pressure wave from the negative pressure wave on the back. And by isolating it, you can create a, uh, an acoustic, you know, bass into the room. Um, so, but the problem is, is that boxes have a bunch of negative side effects. They have kind of a boxy sound. They cause room interaction problems, uh, and they, they, they sound different in every room because of the way they interact with the acoustics. And by getting rid of the, the box, uh, all of those things are, are sidestepped. So this speaker doesn't really hardly interact with the room's own acoustics at all. Um, so that's right off the bat, you're gonna get a much more uniform result from room to room to room from diff different customers. Um, so the other thing is, is that the bass uh, sounds more like a bass instrument. You don't have that overlay of that thumping box effect. So it's more accurate musically. It also is more three-dimensional sounding because there's sound going both directions like a musical instrument. So it has a more of a natural free breathing three-dimensional holographic effect. Um, and I see you're running them today with uh, anti-cables and with the Vinnie Rossi Leo unit. That's correct, yeah. Uh, the speaker that we're making here is very efficient. So the Vinnie Rossi is a fairly small uh, power amplifier, 25 watts, but it's a beautiful match with our speakers because of the efficiency. And the Vinnie Rossi unit just sounds amazing. It's, uh, it's very compact and integrated. Everything is, the whole system is in one box. Um, so I, I just personally like this product a lot. Um, the anti-cables is a, another favorite of mine. I typically use them at shows because I like the way they sound and they're reasonably priced. And they just have a real clear, uncolored kind of sound. Beautiful. Uh, so yeah, so you end up with a very simple system. There's really not too much complexity to it. The total retail of the system then? I mean, the speakers are either four or 5,000 depending four, on finish. Yeah, the, the, the speakers electronics are 10,000 and there's different levels of the anti-cables uh, from several hundred to several thousand. So the system is between 10 and you know 13,000. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Yeah.